The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield formulation, fusing six of the best documents documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. A 9-11 was perpetrated by people within our own government. And again, that was Matthew Mills. We uh, played part of it. We're going to play it again uh, for everybody here where he uh, went into the most valuable player uh, press conference, infiltrated all, throughout all the security uh, while the MVP was mumbling, one of the linemen. Uh, and uh, pointed out that 9-11 was an inside job perpetrated by people inside the government. And regardless of what you think of that statement, regardless of what you believe really happened there, it shows the security is total theater and nothing but a big police state power grab. I mean, they never had this stuff in the past. And then meanwhile, our own government's funding Al-Qaeda overseas. Let's, uh, let's play the full clip here. Investigate 9-11. 9-11 was perpetrated by people within our own government. And again, that only lasts like 10 seconds, but it had such a big effect. And we had that gentleman on the show yesterday, uh, Brian Tui, 
author of The Fix is In, uh, the showbiz, the manipulation of uh, professional sports. What's your take on that and the security point you were getting into? Well, isn't that just that one incident kind of a microcosm, like you say, of the American security state? That we supposedly have all the security and yet this guy with a pass to a music festival walks right through all the Super Bowl security all the way into the press conference and all the way up to the microphone. I mean, imagine if he did manage to get a gun in there. Manage if he was some sort of terrorist or something like that. I mean, that's how ridiculous the security state is. But going to the Super Bowl, going back to the blackout, I mean, think of all the security they had in place in New York here. They had all that same sort of security in place in New Orleans. But the fact is, when the power went out, no one panicked. And that, I think, was the biggest tip off is if you think about what just happened at the Super Bowl, you know, again, the biggest TV broadcast in America every year and the lights go out and nobody panics, wonders, was this a terrorist attack? Did Anonymous do this? What happened here? They all just sat there and said, oh, the power went out. No big deal. I think that's kind of a tipping sign, a tipping point that shows that, you know, a lot of this stuff just isn't what you really think it is. Oh, I agree with you. And then meanwhile, every halftime show I see has weird sex magic rituals. Uh, for those that don't know, weird Illuminati connotations. You see the Grammys full of that. Any idea on why they're always putting the occult into these uh, primetime events now? It's really hard to say. I mean, that's not something I ever really looked into. But if I think if you look into the fact of the people who own these NFL teams, who own these professional sport franchises, I think you'd find that these guys are some serious bigwigs. I mean, Paul Allen is the owner of you know the Seattle Seahawks and I think if you see what the government gives to these professional sports leagues like you mentioned before you know the tax breaks the tax exempt statuses they build stadiums for crying out loud I mean this is the modern bread and circuses except now it's you know especially flavored potato chips in the NFL but it's the same sort of thing it's still distracting us from more important things it's become a soap opera for many people many men and it's distracting them from bigger and more important issues in this country well, that's my issue. You've got the male role model pulled down in all the other TV images uh, and the culture on purpose so the state can be the father and men and women are both the wives of the state now or kind of the, the uh, prostitutes of the pimp, uh, the slaves of the owner. But it, it's just sick how then they hijack one of the f final you know examples of, quote, manhood and turn it into a government extravaganza. What What are you working on now in closing? What are some other... Uh, corruption points in sports that uh, you've been covering? Well, one of the things I'm working on is that I have an article that should be coming out. I worked with Lance Williams, who co-wrote the book on uh, Barry Bonds and Balco called Game of Shadows. And we have an article coming out about potentially fixed baseball game from 2012 and what Major League Baseball did to cover this whole thing up. And, um, you know, my book, Larceny Game, is based on all these FBI files. I still get FBI files and FBI information about corruption within these sports. And I'm going to keep publishing it as long as people let me. I mean, I write for SportsOnEarth.com, which is affiliated with USA Today. And somehow they let me put some of this stuff out there. And I think, you know, if fans look at it and really think about it, I think it'll open their eyes to what's really going on in professional sports and then what that means for the rest of the world. Now, we've seen the third world caught over and over again in the World Cup in open corruption. We know that, it, that it's happening everywhere. From your research, is it getting worse or better? It's getting worse because there's more and more money involved. I mean, they estimate perhaps as much as $1 trillion is bet illegally on sports around the world every year. In the United States, it might be as much as $500 billion bet illegally on sports. And that's not like a bet between you and me. That's a bet between me and my bookie. That's what's illegal. And if there's $500 billion being wagered illegally in the United States, nobody can tell me otherwise that that sort of money cannot and has not influenced the games we watch. It's just naive to think so. What is your gut about what happened with Super Bowl 48? Because, again, regardless, it's a way to wake people up to the corruption. I mean, all the experts, almost all of them thought that Peyton Manning and the Broncos would win. And then you see that near shutout. And then you see them bragging, we broke their hand signs, openly trying to say it so it doesn't look like fraud. But for me, that's, that's basically cheating. And so right there, it looks like the fix is in. And it very well may have been. Like I said, I can't argue for sure that that was definitely fixed. But I know for a fact the NFL made money on that game. Fox made money on that game. The Las Vegas sports books made money on that game. The illegal bookies made money on that game. Everyone profited. And what do they say about conspiracy? You know, if everyone profits, none dare call it a conspiracy, correct? That's right, my friend. Well, I really appreciate you spending time with us. Look forward to talking to you again. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Alex. I appreciate you having me on today. You bet one conspiracy theorist to another.
Of course, a conspiracy theorist is one who's informed and does not believe known liars. It means the opposite of a chump. Now, Cash Sunstein has bragged at the White House, and before he was at the White House six years ago, seven years ago, uh, in the Harvard Review and others, also Chicago Business School, he writes for both, that they would infiltrate alternative media and create infighting, number one, uh, and discredit the entire movements out there putting out cockamamie, ridiculous news. And you see that out there. Uh, you know, this person's really that person. Um, you know, the, the center of the earth is hollow and there's an alien base in there. Uh, you know, all of this is done basically to then be so far out there that, that they can say, I don't think aliens run the planet secretly and the Federal Reserve's private. And they equate the two there. And, and look, nobody's perfect. People could say, I get all excited and wacky and stuff, and that discredits things. But in the final equation, I'm covering real news. I'm real. Judge a tree by its fruits. I have woken up. Pretty scary to say this. Most of the people that are active out there today will tell you that I woke them up. And I'm the most common person you see cited online for getting people to think. So judge a tree by its fruits. We're doing really good work by the grace of God, and I'm trying to do a better job. But we also try to act as a platform to have other amazing people on uh, who are doing really incredible work. And the food girl. So we're talking about some really big news. The good, the, the food babe uh, is going to be joining us to talk about um, the whole waterfront here uh, with the good, the bad, and the ugly of what's happening uh, with the movement towards getting true organic labeling and true organic quality versus the attacks uh, by the establishment out there to stop labeling and so much more. She's going to cover the waterfront with us coming up in the next hour. I want to hear from you, though, on children in, in, in high school and junior high students in Colorado are not allowed to have uh, American flags. They're not allowed to talk about America. They're not allowed to propose America for Spirit Week to talk about what makes America great, Bill of Rights Constitution. Uh, but you... you you're allowed to learn that the U.S. really belongs to Mexico in public school and have Mexican flags everywhere on Cinco de Mayo. There's more articles out today uh, where they are teaching kids the Koran and the Muslim holidays and holy days in public schools nationwide. And, and I'm not attacking Muslims here. My point is everything's acceptable except American culture because the globalists want to get rid of that. Because owning guns, men being men, private property, that's a threat to the power structure. They want to make every other subgroup acceptable except gun ownership's bad, white males are bad, the family's bad. Now, there's more articles out today where uh, White House uh, advisors, here it is, uh, you know, are coming out and saying your kids belong to us. I, I mean, it, it's just they're normalizing their out-of-control behavior. And what do you make of, I mean, is it cheating? People are going to say, why are you covering sports? I'm not covering sports. I'm covering fraud. When I talk about how most rock bands and hip-hop bands have a total tape playing digitally, and they sing along with it, and it's totally fake, that's a fact. And it's not about music. It's about things being a fraud. It's about getting people to think outside the box and realize that we're being manipulated. That's the answer, to not be chumps. I want to hear from you on these issues, whatever issues you want to cover. First-time callers, toll-free number to join us, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. Now, I want to show you a news article. I want to show folks InfoWarsHealth.com on screen. That's InfoWarsHealth.com. Uh, they had a Clemson major year-long scientific double-blind, uh, you know, research study uh, where they were doing it with different tissue samples and not even telling the researchers what they were doing. And they found, in some cases, over 90 percent, generally 60 percent, kill rate of cancerous cells in the colon with beyond tangy tangerine. That we have the 2.0 fully organic type and the old-fashioned type, my favorite. It's almost completely organic, but it's hard to certify hundreds of ingredients. That's all available, discounted with free shipping when you sign up for auto ship at InfoWarsHealth.com. And there's upwards of 400 great items uh, on there. You can also join the InfoWars team at InfoWarsTeam.com. And I'll take it to InfoWarsHealth.com as well and get discounts and be able to be a distributor. But that's InfoWarsHealth.com or InfoWarsTeam.com. 
And I want to show you this article while we're talking.